Welcome to another T-SNAP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover everything you need to know to set up and sell golf through T-SNAP. We will cover rack rates, customer profiles, and building T-sheets. This is all done in the admin portal at admin.tsnap.com. Let's start on the property page, which is the first page you're going to see when logging in. Then click on the golf course you would like to build a T-sheet for in the upper right hand corner. To add a T-sheet to this course, you must first have your rack rates set up. Rack rates are walk-in prices for your different seasons and times in a day, but it's not where you are going to add discounted rates for golfers like members or seniors. But to add a rack rate, you click the Add button next to Rack Rates. Let's add a new rack rate and we'll call it Summer Regular. We will set the 9-hole walking price at $25 and the 18-hole walking price at $44, and then we'll set the cart prices for 9-hole cart and our 18-hole cart. These carts are actually products that we've previously set up in the Inventory tab in the Admin Portal. We're going to click Save here when we're done, and now you can see the rack rate we've created is right there at the top. This is going to actually reorganize to alphabetical order when you come back to this page in the future. And there you have it. Next, we're going to go on to Customer Profiles. First, we have to create the customer profiles. You do this on the property page, which is the first page you see when logging in. To add a new profile, simply click the green Add button next to the words Customer Profiles. We have some here already, but we will add one more, PGA. You can define what discounts each profile is rewarded separately for each course that you have. So if you do have more than one course, you do have to do this for each course. Um, we're going to open the only course we have, T-Snap Golf Club. On our course page here, we can edit each profile's discounts. You simply click the pencil button next to the profile that you want to apply the discounts for. We will define the discounts for our PGA players. We define a percent, dollar discount, or flat rate discount to each of the areas we wish to apply the discounts. Percent and dollar discount function exactly as you would imagine they do, but the flat rate promotion will actually charge the customer whatever price you enter into this box. Our PGA members golf for half price, whether it's 9 or 18, so we will set the discount to 50% for our greens fees. And then for our add-on products, which are our golf carts, PGA members save $2 on both 9 and 18, so we'll add a dollar discount for $2 for them on each line. I click Save to save my changes. Uh, this PGA discount only applies for our regular rack rate, so I'm going to leave all of the rest of these rack rates blank, and there will be no discount applied when those rack rates are active. Building out this profile ensures that all my PGA golfers will be charged the correct amount automatically whenever they come to my course, provided that I've labeled that customer as a PGA golfer. That wraps up the customer profiles. Next, we're going to move on to T-Sheets. To build our first T-Sheet, we must be on the page for the course we want to build. For us, that's T-Snap Golf Club on the upper right hand corner of the property page. Then we click the big green Add button in the top right corner. This is where we will name our T-Sheet and set the date range. Let's name it Autumn. The date range of your T-Sheet should encompass one entire season's pricing. If you have the same pricing year round, we still recommend creating seasonal T-Sheets in case you want to make significant changes later. We click the green check mark when we filled this page out. Next, we have a day of the week view. By clicking the plus sign on the right hand side of the page next to any day, I have the option to create an interval for that day. Every interval is customizable, so you can accommodate for absolutely anything. You must enter a start and an end time, a tee time interval, and a rack rate. After selecting your start and end times, you have to click Done so it saves your changes. The lower half of the menu allows you to define your turn time and where each nine hole section of your course will turn. This allows you to compensate for up to 27 holes and their turns. You can even have different turn times for each nine if you want. So now that I have my regular rack rate time interval set up, I'm going to hit save. I hit the plus button on the right next to the same exact day to add my twilight time interval. You'll notice that the start time begins where your last interval ended. Once I'm done with this interval, I will do my super twilight interval as well. Now if I get this far in my rack rate building, or rather my t-sheet building, 
I don't, and I don't have the correct rack rate to assign, I have to go back to the course page and build the appropriate rack rate. And I can do that by clicking on T-Snap Golf Club up here on the top corner. It takes me right back to the last page I was on, and then I can add my rack rate. Now, don't worry, all of my work that I've already done is saved as a draft in the top here next to my autumn tee sheet. And if I want to edit that again, I just have to click right back, right back to get inside. So we're going to complete this tee sheet and come back so you can see a fully built out tee sheet. Here is the final built tee sheet. You'll notice that we have the same prices all week long. We don't have any difference between our weekends and our weekdays. So keep in mind that it might look a little bit different for you. But if you would like to edit any of these intervals that you've created, you simply click the blue interval you would like to edit. When you're completely finished building your tee sheet, it's as simple as clicking the green publish button in the upper right hand corner. And then when done shows up, clicking done. Once you've hit publish, that tee sheet will actually be visible on both the iPads and online. So if you don't have online limited to how far ahead your golfers can book, as soon as you hit publish, that's available for them to book. This wraps up the tee sheet and how to build tee sheets, rack rays, and profiles. Please let us know if you have any questions at support at tsnap.com. Call us at 844-458-1032 or simply leave a comment below the video. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.